Threat detected ahead. Stubborn, aren't you? I gave you my answer, did I not? No matter how many... Today, I come not with requests, but with orders. Orders? Orders issued by King Osarius, with terms ratified by Director Melthea and Captains Bertrand and Gertel. Orders for Theo Clemrath. You are to answer to the demands of Leticia Osarius, and devote yourself to the defense of this planet. What? Those you once betrayed now call on you not to waste away here, but to rise and serve the greater good. What say you? Come, Letty. You can't be serious. This surely is no time for such jest. I would have you know Captain Gertel does not offer his signature lightly. You nor your father are forgiven, but a shred of faith yet remains that you may yet serve this kingdom. Theo! <laughs> Do you hope to repent by staring at the floor beneath your feet, waiting for someone to release you from your sins? Letty, I... Your redemption lies not between walls. Those you have crossed demand that your penance not be made in a cell, but in service to your kingdom. Myself among them. I see. Yes. Yes. Well, in that case, I suppose no honorable, decent man could see such trust Wasted. Very well, then. On my very life, I swear my allegiance to my nation and you, Princess Leticia Osirius. May your service aid us in our effort, Theo Clemrath. Now then. Let us be off, cousin. At your lead. I am ever in your service, Letty. Letty, may we visit the throne room so I might thank my lord uncle, the king? Get some rest once all matters are attended to. Lord Uncle, uh, Your Majesty, I offer my deepest gratitude. By my very life, I promise to serve and protect Princess Leticia. Acknowledged. I imagine you will set off with a heavy heart. But know this, your journey with Leticia is by royal decree. Go, and see your actions befit your position as our envoy to the world above. My lord, I shall return with naught but good news. I eagerly await that day.
protecting me. Is there aught left I can do? We should rest while we... Oh, Lola. Here. That contains data on the fight between the Scorpion battleship and Lieutenant Kenny's vessel. You should be able to access it from the Virgoldian ship. I'm not sure it will help, but take it with you. Uh, Lola, will you not... Will you not come with us? No, I cannot. I need to remain here. Make sure no one from Osiria Surveil misuses the Tyrannus. Just in case. It was also decided I'd be helping Captain Bertrand with the post-war recovery efforts. Uh, you have my thanks. <sighs> Lola? I'm sorry. I know that I have no right to ask you to help them. But... But... You mean Valange and Gaston, yes? <laughs> I beg of you. I... cannot make such a promise. However, I can tell you that I do not wish to see another life lost needlessly. Please... Put your faith not in me, but in them. Thank you. Looks as if all are present. We've been waiting for you. Everyone is ready to depart. Leticia, you ready to roll on your end? Ray, yes. We have assembled everyone. All right, I'll initiate the transfer. Get somewhere you won't be seen. So, uh, uh, now all we do is wait? I believe so. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode, your highness. Ray, this is... your... ship? <laughs> Not so different from the Tyrannus, huh? But it is so different. There are so many lights. Ah, well, this ship is up and running, I guess. Antonio, I give you Princess Leticia. I am Leticia Osterius. Thank you, once again. A pleasure, Princess. I'm Antonio. Raymond, you've been traveling with such a stunning beauty this whole time? Oh, well... <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's make for the bridge. We'll be taking off soon. See that? There's your planet, Leticia. Aster 4. That is... our planet? Our world? To think all of our struggles have taken place in such a minuscule space makes one feel insignificant. Yes, but it is so very beautiful. No doubt about it. Right then. I suppose we'd best get going. Elena, Chloe, Miss Kenny. Roger. It's been so long. I'll, uh, 
I'll do my best. We're counting on you, Aldous. Chloe, get us out of orbit. Keep thrusters at one-fourth power. Exiting orbital trajectory. Thrusters at one-fourth power. We have exited orbit. Now entering conventional space. All systems, green. Right then. I guess our first priority is to chase that ship carrying Boldor and the others. I hope you're not intending to engage them. The Aldus won't stand a chance. Oh, yes, Ray. Here. This is from Lola. It is a record of the battle between the Scorpion battleship and the Akizuki from the Tyrannus. She hopes it will prove useful. Much appreciated. Okay, let's get this analyzed quick. I have no intention of taking them head on. All right. If we compile this data first, we might at least be able to figure out where the hell that battleship is headed. Under normal circumstances, it would likely be their homeworld. It may be safe to assume they are returning there. No such location that would correspond with the concept of a homeworld exists within Scorpion. Is that so? Scorpion is a collective of life that forms a network which spans the galaxy. With enormous spaceships, traveling between artificial colonies and space stations. Well, couldn't those be considered their home planet? No. In this particular instance, all the bases and ships are also part of the overall Scorpion life form. That is correct. Hmm. So, you got any idea which one of these massive life forms they might be headed to then? The man known as Gaston contained many factors that differ from the current state of the Scorpion. Thus, the accuracy of any predictions we make will be low. Hey, hey, okay. Are you really telling me we don't have any leads right out of the gate? I mean, can't we use our long-range sensors to pick up their trail? Yeah, they're already way out of range of our sensors. Ah, for crying out loud. What's that? Okay, take it easy. It's the sensors picking something up. It might even be them. Chloe? No, it's a Federation ship. They're approximately 36 hours away. A Federation ship. They may be coming to apprehend Sayuri and I. All right, it doesn't look like they're heading for Aster. Hmm. Want to test our luck and try to make contact? Hmm. Unlike the Astoria. They are making no effort to conceal themselves. At this distance, the Aldus should be able to outrun them as well. Not so sure about this. Chances are they picked up our signal already. It'd be more risky to just sit around and do nothing. Ant, patch a signal through open comms. Roger that. Opening a line of communication. Connection established. Putting them on screen. This is Captain Raymond Lawrence, aboard the Vergoldian transport vessel, Aldus. State your name and affiliation. This is the Pan-Galactic Federation battlecruiser, Bella Golf, and I am its captain, Curtis Aldrich. I never expected to meet a member of the Lawrence family in the middle of nowhere like this. It's an honor. Permit me to skip the formalities, Captain Curtis. What brings you out to this middle of nowhere? We're en route to our destination and in a hurry. Though I'm not about to share any more than that with the captain of an anti-federation Vergoldian ship. Understandable. So I suppose it's just a coincidence that you happen to be heading in the same direction as the Scorpion ship that we happen to be tracking? You... how do you know of the Scorpion? We just recently engaged a Scorpium vessel, which had entered the Aster system. We've since determined that the ship was crewed by soldiers from the Federated planet of Veer. Captain Raymond, I think it may be best we exchange information. I should like to make contact with your ship. I must decline. You see, I was on board another ship, the Yidus when it was taken out by an unlawful attack from a Federation battlecruiser not too long ago. Are you referring to the Astoria? I hear it was illicitly cloaked and attacked without warning. 
Oh, well, if you know about that, then I assume the Astoria must already be hung out to dry. Actually, they're currently on the run. What? <gasps> the Federation's most advanced ship has gone rogue? Our ship, on the other hand, is in no such state. Transmit our logs to for gold if you like. We have nothing to hide. We make for the site of an emergency mission. Though, at present, we could use all the information on the Scorpium that we can get. Fine. Send us a rendezvous point. We'll give you an estimated time of arrival once we figure it out on our end. Much appreciated. Wishing you a safe voyage. Over and out. Coordinates for the rendezvous point received. Our ETA is 10 hours, 57 minutes. Ray? Uh, no. Captain. I think that we can trust him. I agree. We may gain some valuable information this way. Uh, you should be more worried about getting arrested. We have no reason to trust them or think that they have our best interests at heart. Arrested? Oh, yes. I suppose you're right. Either way, we still have 11 hours until we know for sure. All right, everyone. Let's take breaks and shifts. Um, and uh, what of us? Right. <clears throat> Allow me this opportunity to give you all a tour of the ship. Raymond may be the captain now, but the Aldous is still my ship after all. Uh, understood. You have my thanks, Sir Antonio. Ray! Hey! Did my brother behave on your tour? Antonio is much more of a gentleman than you. Aw, thank you. So, what do you think of the Aldis? How should I put it? It's incredible! Uh, every last bit of it! Nothing short of incredible! Every aspect of life here is like another world. No, no, another dimension. It's all so astounding. I don't know where to begin. Let me say this. Preventing him from wandering off whenever I look elsewhere is proving quite a difficult task. Everything is so new to the eye that I'm as nervous as my first day on a boat at sea. More so, in fact. What a monstrous situation. I know full well that this journey will be difficult, but it is quite thrilling to think I will experience what was spoken of in Larkis for myself. Glad to hear it. You're welcome to wander and check everything out at your leisure. Any questions, feel free to ask Antonio or myself. On that note, Chloe? Yes, Captain. If you hear a voice come out of that, do what it asks, okay? Yes. Understood. We've prepared rooms for each of you in the living quarters. Rest up as much as you can until we rendezvous with the Vela Gulf. What should we do? We've lost contact with Veer Prime. Lola's from the... It's so tough not being able...
Assistance. Yes, there are so well, many captains. Such so many different spread. people. I don't think we all have, have a hand to that. We're awesome. not just carrying physical things like cargo. We're carrying all our feelings with us. Um, you sure that's really coffee? You didn't put anything in there, did you? Report Princess Leticia. My sincerest thanks for your gracious aid.
Get ready for a fight! Them no fight. Yeah. 
exquisite. Battles. Is everyone prepared? Cut the word! For this escalates. battles.
is it? Assistance. Although the warrior is much yet. 